A spot on that podium. They'll turn to their heavyweight, Raiz Quintuan, Romania. Standing in his way, Anzor Kizriev of the Russian Federation. Romania ready to go with Russia. Bronze medal at 125. A lot of the fans inside the Salapoli Valent Arena have stuck around for this one. Romania trying to get the bronze medal here in their home country of Bucharest. Kizriev of Russia, fifth at the 2017 World Championships. Has dominated the Russian Nationals the past two years, won the Nationals last year for the second time. And he will get the early point. Antoine stepping out of bounds, so Kizriev with a one nothing lead. And quick update on the team score. Russia has locked up the team title heading into 125 kilograms here at the European Championship. So they have 147 pounds, and we're just looking at best case scenarios, of course, with all these numbers. If Kizriev was to win the bronze medal here, the Russian Federation would end up with 162 points. And since Azerbaijan doesn't have a wrestler competing here at this weight class, the best they can do is second place with 145. But I say that with Taha Akul of Turkey, who currently sit in third place, uh, we'll look at the best case scenario for them. They would finish with 100 in 56 points, so it looks like it's gonna be Russia in first, Turkey in second, Azerbaijan in third. So Russia really had to work today. They were in a situation where any of those three countries could have jumped to the top. They come back to the pack a little bit. Remember, they put up over 200 points, just a complete landslide last year at these European championships. A Little bit different story, but yet the same result, another European title. Action. One nothing, that early step out has been it at heavyweight, two minutes into this opening period. Blue, action. Slide by attempt by Kizriev. He has the Romanian around the waist and he just buckles him down for two. Nice work there by Kizriev as he rolls out of bounds for two more. So he will go up 5 nothing. 19 seconds to go first period. And I was expecting to see a little more out of him in his semifinals match against Taha Akul. You look back to the first ranking series event of the year, the Yvonne Yurigan in the finals. They were tied 3-3 heading into the second period and Taha Akul got to a couple of shots and Kizriev was able to pick up a couple of crotch lifts to pick up four points and ended up winning that match 4-3. to three. But Taha Akul on another level here at the European Championships. Yeah, that's going to be an uh, intriguing heavyweight championship coming up with Agul and Petriashvili of Georgia. This is the, the one I know a lot of people have been waiting for. You have the two-time world champion, Olympic bronze medalist, and Petriashvili matched up against the powerhouse and Agul. Already five European gold medals to his name. That is going to be a clash of giants, and that's how we're going to wrap up this year's edition of the European Championships coming up in a little bit. See the late two on that wrench and roll for the Russian heavyweight, so a 5 nothing lead. Romania in some trouble. And I'm looking forward to if Taha Akul was to win. I was told by somebody from Turkey that Turkish President Recep Erdogan calls Reza, or excuse me, calls 
Taha Aku and Riza Kayal if they win European or World Championships. He's a big fan of the sport of wrestling and will personally call them to congratulate them directly after their match. Boy, isn't that great to have that type of backing in a country that loves it. Certainly he's in the position he can make a lot of phone calls later tonight. Speaking of phone calls, Russia has ended this one early. Their phone call back home, we did it again. Russia capturing another team title. They ended early. Technical superiority by Kidriev. Makes quick work of the Romanian. 11-0 your final. Russia takes home the bronze at 125.